I'm Santiago. I'm Kaden. And welcome to episode three of Critter Chasing Kids. Sorry we had to postpone on the horn lizard video, but we are gonna be catching the spadefoot toad. While we're doing that, we're also gonna be rolling in the mud. That'd be very slimy, but come on. To boost our chances of finding the toad, we have to go in moist areas. We also have to stay in those dark areas. Yeah, because they like to be secluded. Let's run. The grass was moist, so we were able to have a greater chance of finding a frog coming out from its burrow. The trunks of trees had puddles, great for swimming. By going further into the field, we have more of a chance of finding a toad hoping to be further from where people normally walk. We hope to find one coming out of the canal. At the last moment, Kane spotted it out of the corner of his eyes. Got it? Let me get my gloves. Whoa, just as we're about to leave. I'm so excited I just threw that down. Just as we were about to leave, I spot something in the corner of my eye, jump over the fence, and that's the toad. Glove on. Wow. We got a toad. Spade for a toad because it doesn't have paratoid glands, but it's a toad. And you can tell it's a toad because it has warts, of course. And it has no paratoid glands because they're not active all year round. They're buried most of the time. They mature within a matter of a few, maybe two weeks. And their pupils get larger when they're not exposed to light, but when they are exposed to light, they'll get thin. And they have vertical pupils. And there's a difference you have to know that because there's a difference between certain types of toads just based on their pupils. Some of them have vertical pupils, other ones have horizontal pupils, like goats, like goat's eyes. But these have more like a lizard eye, gecko eye. So again, this is a spadefoot toad, and you have to remember this is seasonal. Don't think you'll just find it if you just go out. Uh oh, let him scrum a bit. And yeah. Now, these little spadefoot toads. They're called spade for toads because they have spades on the bottom of their feet, which I don't think we could show you because they don't like you being upside down and we don't want to hurt them. So, uh, and they use those to dig because they live underground for most of um, the year. Oh, oh. So we know we have to release him where we found him um, so because we don't want him to switch with subspecies. So we're gonna release him right here. That's where I found him. Bye, little guy. Bye, little guy. I really can't believe we found that toad. It was amazing, wasn't it? Yeah. We found it just at the last minute. We had a silent prayer, and the Lord answered. We learned about how they're seasonal, and we also learned about their lives. And they also want to stay in dark, dark and be secluded from other animals. Because they are a very elusive species. And as always, we have to release them where we caught them. Please subscribe. Also with the like button and the notification bell so you don't miss our almost weekly videos. Don't forget, catch, catch us again on our next adventure, adventure of Critter Chasing Kids. Kids.